gonna love me more than I love you. Send. You have made this the very bestest Valentine's Day of all of history. T9! Always censoring my dirty words. Hello, Cuddle Muffin! Hey, honey! How's it going? Happy Valentine's Day again. Oh yeah, T9 usually censors those words. Oh, you must you you turned it off, didn't you? Oh, I love it. Making your favorite. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I miss you. Have you checked your email in the last ten minutes? <laughs> you are so silly. Um, let me hang up. I, I just thought of a funny thing I can text you. The human text. <laughs> Hello. Well, hold on. Come on, close the phone. Oh, come on. Wait a second. I'm going to say that was good. I'm here now, human flesh speaking. I've got something. I for just sent you something. Did you check it? I've got something. Did you check it? That's the way it was. We were happy, my girlfriend and I. I had taught her to text and email so that we could be in contact nearly 24 hours of every day. But she still didn't really understand my blog, or how much it meant to me. Then one night, I received an offer that no blogger could refuse. An offer that would change our lives forever. What are you doing in my house? Who the hell are you? Who I am would mean very little to you. I am not a name of consequence. But I think I know a couple of names that might ring a bell. The White House Tattler, Movie Maniac. You know why you've heard of them? Because of me. You? Yeah, I'm Josh Hemlock. I'm a, a blogger's agent. Brad Thoreau. Brad, I know your name. I'm here because I've been reading blogs for the better part of a decade. I love blogging. I have HTML in my blood. I've been reading your work and Frankly, what I see here tonight, what validates what a lot of people have thought. You're up at 3 a.m. Why are you doing that, Brad? I do care about my blog. I care about it deeply, and I want it to be the best it can be. You're not the only one who cares about your blog. Brad, I care about your blog. I'm here to see you because I think you have the potential to be the best. I'm here for you, baby. I'm gonna make you beautiful. Just give me you're five gonna make minutes. Me beautiful. Two We're gonna minutes. get big together. Give me, We're give me, give me, give me, give me. If you come with me, real big. talk to me tonight. You gotta drop this, you know, country boy aw shucks bullshit. Well, it's not an act. It's just the way I am. Yeah, it's beautiful, and and I absolutely don't want to change that. Your blog has made me cry. Cry? Hey, <laughs> look at me. Do I look like a guy who balls a lot? To hear you, a, a, a big city hotshot, say stuff like that, well, maybe I, maybe I do need to make some changes. Can I get you a beer? That night, I invited Sarah to come with me to New York, but she said she had just found out that her mom had cholera and that she would need to stay close to home. Twas the kind of night all lovers know well. We mapped out our future made outrageous plans, shared our wildest dreams, laughed, cried, and fell asleep in each other's arms, having decided that I would leave in two weeks and she would join me as soon as possible. But I ended up waking in the middle of the night and buying a ticket to leave the next morning. I didn't dare wake her. She looks so peaceful when she sleeps. Oh, and it turns out, it's true what they say about the women in New York. I was so upset, I didn't know what to do. So I ran straight to my girl Shaniqua's house. Oh, hey Dee, what's up? My boyfriend left me. Hey, I can hardly hear you, where are you? I'm coming. Okay, I got it. I got, okay, I hear, I, I hear you now. What's going on? Brad left me! Ah! 
I told you that was going to happen. I told you. He was totally, you know. Well, that's why he's been going to that club I told you about every single night, and he wouldn't invite you with him. I didn't know he was going to a club every night. He told me he had blogging practice. <laughs> oh, baby. Look, girl, I'm just going to have to go, okay? All right. Okay. Sarah! Shanique, what? what are you doing here? Brad laughed at me! Oh my god, baby! <laughs> you have to be a blogger in New York City. A blogger? It's, it's with the computer, you know? Yeah, I still I don't get it. I'm really sorry I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm going to hip hop class. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I'd like to learn. Okay. I mean, maybe I can teach you some stuff. Yeah. All and, right, and so. You know, you know that guy you told me about? Shaniqua had mentioned her friend to me. A guy who taught girls about the internets. The internet is like the way of the future. The internet is the way of boys. A lot of girls are learning about it these days. Can you give me that guy's number? Meanwhile, I couldn't afford my rent anymore, so I had to move back in with moms. I started making this sort of emo video diary. It was good therapy. Then I contacted Shaniqua's friend, and he helped me put my vlog on the World Wide Web. I also got Shaniqua to teach me to hip-hop dance. I was improving myself, body, mind, and spirit. Soon enough, all that hard work paid off. One new message. Big time. Sour girl, I love your vlog. You need to be in New York, honey. Get yourself out here and I guarantee you, I will get you on YouTube. Listen, did you